Hello, hello. Steve, Canadian Sasquatch, coming at you with another DIY build. And this time, all you're going to need is a hammer and saw. That's right. Uh, so today we're going to be making a birdhouse. Well, actually, nesting shelf. Uh, some birds don't like those typical birdhouses that got the little hole in one in the middle for them to fly in. They just want a shelf, just like this. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna do it using saw, hammer, measuring device, just a tape measure, pencil or pen, and then you need a straight edge of some sort. I'm gonna be using a speed square because that's what I got. Anything with a flat, uh, edge that you can draw a line across that will work just perfectly fine. Other than that, you'll need nails, inch and a quarter or one inch nails will work just fine for this and one board of one by eight. And the thing to think to remember when you're getting wood is even though it's a one by eight, it's actually three quarters of an inch by seven and a quarter inches. So it's not an actual one inch by eight inch uh, board. When you're buying lumber, you just need to be cognizant of one by or two by or any of that kind of wood actually isn't the actual dimensions of that wood. So with that, we have everything we need right here. And I'm gonna take you guys through the uh, steps. I do have plans uh, for this link down below in the description. So if you want to do this yourself, uh, yeah, plans down below. And with that, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out our first piece, which is gonna be eight and three fourths of an inch. So we do that. And then we take our straight edge here and we just line it up like so. And then we can do it from the other side too, just to make sure like so. And now we're gonna cut it. And you'll saw so we'll do, I'm gonna use this here 30 plus year old uh, hand saw that I have. Um, I'm not very good with them, it, but uh, it's what we're gonna use. And then you just line it up and saw. And there we go. Piece number one. Next one we're gonna do, once again, eight and three quarters. So these first pieces we're doing are the sides. And then sometimes when you're doing this, you're gonna end up with a piece like this. You just, you can break it off, not a problem. And we've got a lot of splintering going on here. That's fine. We'll, we'll deal with this after we're done cutting all the wood. So we've got our two sides cut out. All right, the next one is going to be eight and a quarter. So that's eight and one quarter. Just like that. And then we have a six and a half. And the reason why we're measuring each piece and then cutting each piece like this rather than just measuring it all out is there is a thickness to the saw blade, which if you measure it out, cut and then just cut along each each piece then by the time you get to the last piece it'll be that much a little bit smaller because uh, the saw blade has its thickness and so each one of these thicknesses adds up so we always measure cut measure cut and it becomes more of a big deal when you've got thicker blades like on a table saw or something that can have like a eighth of an inch blade on it so yeah, just measure and then cut. Now we're gonna do another longer one at eight inches here. So the last piece we're gonna cut is gonna be four and a half inches. And things that could help make this easier, um, you can clamp the wood down to your work surface. And it's okay if they fall down, you can always pick them back up again. 
and that's that for uh, cutting those pieces. So now we've got like all these little sharp bits here. There's a variety of ways to deal with that. You could choose to just completely ignore this stuff. Um, again, the birds don't care. You could just kind of get a good portion of it like that. Um, you could get a knife and just kind of cut away at them. Another thing you could do is if you've got some sandpaper laying around, just like that. The next thing we're doing here is we got our two side pieces here. And what we need to do now is measure in an inch and a quarter on these guys. And then we are going to draw a line. And now we cut that line. Just like that. And now for the second one. Just like that. So now we got our two pieces cut like that. Next up is uh, some diagonal cuts. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna do it on the side that we cut here. We're gonna measure in two and one quarter, right there. And then we're gonna do two and one quarter here, like so. Take our straight edge here, and we are gonna go from this corner to that line, and then from here to there. And then we're gonna cut these. And now, back to sawing. Gotta do it a second time. Knock off these uh, slivers. That is our sides done. So we've got one more cut to do that's optional because it will be very tricky to do. I'm not looking forward to this one. So what we need to do here is we need to measure in a quarter of an inch. And I'm gonna do it on both sides here just to, and then we are going to go from this line to that line, like so. And then this one, what we're actually gonna do is we are gonna cut this one like this. I don't know how well you guys can see this here, but so we are going to do it like that. And that is not an easy cut to do with a saw like this. And I think I'm gonna cheat and use a vise for this one. have it. Really ugly, but done. That is all of the cuts done and dusted, and now we can start assembly. Alrighty, now to put this puzzle together. So we've got our two sides, and we've got our roof, and then we've got our floor and back. And we can kind of line things up here. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are go actually going to kind of just take a quick measurement here with the pencil, something like that. And we're gonna do that on both sides. And this is gonna tell us where to put our nails. And we're actually going to put our nails in right now. And we 
want to do it until just they just start peeking through here. All right, and there they are, just peeking through. <clears throat> so now that we got that set up, we can put these guys on, line them up like so. Let's do it this way. There we go. <clears throat> Just like so. And then the same on the other side. <clears throat> um, thing you can also do is glue these. Um, you will want a weather resistant, weatherproof uh, glue like Tight Bond 3, but I'm not doing that today. We're just banging them together. Now we're going to do the roof. So, yeah, so we're just going to try and measure it out so we got equal side, equal amount on both sides, and then we're just going to nail it together. And I'm just going to eyeball this, and then a nail will go right there, and a nail will go right there. And I'm going to bang those nails in. All right. And then we're going to line those nails up like so. And one there. And we're going to put a nail right there. And one more up here, right about there. And now we've got our backing to do. So we're going to take it and we're just going to drop it down about an inch or so, so we'll get the, the measuring thing out and put it there. Make sure it's flush on both sides. I'm going to put a nail in right here. There. And then we're going to put this one on. And there we have it. So yeah, there we have it. We've got our uh, nesting shelf completed. Um, birds like cardinals and robins like using these rather than the uh, stereotypical um, birdhouses. So yeah, it's it was quick and dirty. I did this in an hour, uh, including moving the camera around and all that. Um, it's Definitely not my best work. Uh, I haven't used a handsaw this much in about 30 years or so. So essentially when I first got this guy right here and you can see it's kind of wobbly. So, <clears throat> but I do have the uh, plans uh, in a PDF available for you guys to download. Uh, and it's got all of the bits and bobs that you need. Cutlass, how to lay it out on the board. Um, how to cut the, uh, the odd shape pieces. So yeah, that is it for this guy. So yeah, if you uh, like the video, give me a thumbs up down below. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down below. Um, feel free to ask questions, comments, whatever, down in, this, down in the YouTube comment section below. And uh, hit that subscribe button. That would be greatly appreciated. And yeah, we will see you guys in the next video. Cheers, everybody.